As we told you in December 2014, the patent on Monsanto's first generation Roundup Ready soybean trait was expiring. We talked about the challenges to saving and using that seed in future crop years. As we said then, it's imperative growers check with their seed suppliers before even beginning the process. University of Nebraska Lincoln researchers are completing studies on the performance and profitability of using Roundup Ready or RR1 seed. Earlier this week, we talked with UNL Steve Mason about those results and the background of saving seed for future use. Well, there's been a tradition um, throughout the world, but in Nebraska and elsewhere, to save seed of self-pollinated crops. So, in particularly in Nebraska, there's been a history of saving soybean and winter wheat seed uh, for planting the following year as a way to control seed costs. Recently, the Roundup Ready patent has expired, which would give producers under certain circumstances the opportunity to use that seed. Can you kind of outlay how that works? Well, when the, the, the U.S. government and the patent office has uh, uh, legality that you get a patent and then you uh, retain the, the rights to that for 15 years, basically is a way to protect your investment in the research and to recoup the cost of that research. So the Roundup Ready 1 came off a little over, off a patent a little over a year ago uh, after those 15 years in which uh, the private seed companies was, uh, was recouping their cost of developing uh, uh, that uh, variety, those types of varieties. Over the last few years, you've done some research at UNL using saved seed uh, at the ARDC near Mead. Tell me about the process and what you were looking at. Well, we were specifically looking at whether saving seed of uh, Roundup Ready 1 uh, varieties would be uh, both yield and, and economically viable for Nebraska farmers. And what did you find? Uh, we found that, uh, you know, first off, that in our production environments here in the western edge of the soybean producing area, that our yields were uh, a little bit higher for the Roundup Ready 2s and the Roundup Ready 1s, but really pretty small, about a 2%. Uh, bump in, in yield. And then we went through and interviewed uh, seed producers and, and gathered information about the cost of saving seed and then calculated it out. And we found that if you have access to Roundup Ready One varieties and saving seed provides substantial financial benefit to, to, to producers. What would be the substantial benefit? Uh, our calculations would be somewhere $30 an acre or, or uh, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, however, there are real, some real limitations in being able to do this. Uh, one of those is uh, not only the question of the protection or the patent on the transgene for Roundup Ready 1, but also the available, availability of varieties. Uh, most varieties uh, are also patented, as is the, the transgene for Roundup Ready 1. So in order to make this work, both the, the variety and the transgene have to be off of patent. How difficult is it to have enough seed, make sure that seed is clean, make sure it tests out okay? Can you explain kind of the difficulties that might go into that? Well, there's a number of costs that are associated with doing this. Uh, saving seed is not an easy button. Uh, there are uh, labor costs, you know, harvesting, uh, identity preservation, keeping things separate, uh, storage during the winter. Uh, having seed cost in, in Nebraska, there are not very many seed cleaning facilities, so the, the transport to have it cleaned and back are all uh, substantial uh, cost and inconvenience for producers who want to do this. So a producer listens to this and says, I, I know my margins are going to be tight this year, maybe this is a way I can gain an advantage. What's the advice to that producer before he or she considers doing it? Well, there's a number of things that have to happen. Uh, you know, one that has already happened, and that the Roundup Ready 1 transgene is uh, off of patent. But then you also have to be able to identify a, a variety that has the Roundup Ready 1 on it that is off of patent or off of varietal protection. Um, and if it's not off of that, then you'd have to obtain a licensing agreement with the seed company or whoever owns that, which is uh, probably not very easy to do. So uh, varieties that come out of uh, uh, public release that come out of university programs, uh, of which there are a limited number of those that are available in the marketplace, uh, would be the, the way that one would have to go to do that. You can find more information about Steve's research on the Market Journal homepage. <music>